time in Albuquerque will be six minutes. Sorry, six out. I don't actually know what time it is. I'm a freaking... Hello and welcome to the stream. Today's pre-stream chatter was my attempting to do a humorous replication of WWV, which gives the time. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And by the way, if you heard that cough, you might be infected with the coronavirus. Um, but I did a terrible job of it. So let's get back to what we were doing. Uh, we were attempting to uh, find the difference between all the objects that Sea Spice knows about versus the objects for which it does have a radius and does not have a radius. Uh, the idea is we're going to add radiuses or radii for the objects that don't have them. Uh, so we'd gotten as far as approximately doing, well, I added an O here, but this basically, actually we don't need the O. This gives us a list of all the objects and all the BSP files I have and the names of some of them. Uh, the 83 is not an issue because that's just a runover from the previous line. Uh, but if you'll notice here, when we get to some of the more interesting moons of, of uh, Jupiter, they don't have names, uh, which is annoying. But we can probably deal with it in just a minute. I did actually briefly look haha, at the brief options. And by the way, uh, before you ask, boxers. Okay. Um, there's nothing in here to give just the names. Um, you can sort by various display summary ordered by body frame, body's frames, uh, summary for body ID, but there's nothing that lets you get all the names. Um, and of course, particularly, I think the issue here is uh, these names might not even exist inside of C Spice. I mean, you can't get names if they're not officially assigned. Um, and it looks like this is telling us um, for some of these, um, you know, actually if I do, don't do minus A, we might actually get something more interesting out of this. Um, um, yeah, like for example, we don't have names for most of these asteroids. I, these things don't really have a star uh, in front of them. Um, so let's take a look at this really quickly, just this one file. Um, and I'm going to guess that it doesn't act, these names don't actually exist. So there's no way to get them because they don't exist. Yeah, so it looks like the bodies here are saying, you know, four of them have names, well, five if you include Eros, six, seven, but most of them do not. Um, so that's not great. Now we should also be able to say comet minus R, which might include the, uh, which might include the names, um, or it might not, let's find out. Wow. Lots of information here. Whoa, whoa, where's the body list? Um, this is a lie, because we just used it and it didn't work. Um, and uh, let's see if the word Cirrus appears and it does not. Okay, so that's kind of a bad thing that um, most of the asteroid names are not in here, which is which is bad. Um, uh, so that's not great. I saw the word mutex mentioned. I don't think we have that, though. Okay, so now the question is which of these programs... Well, first of all, if the names aren't in there, there's nothing we can do about that. Uh, I'm trying to see if any of these maybe... Um, Oops. Less simple. Um, cookbook that is illustrates how to get um, geometrical problems. Oh, so simple might just be like a, a basic uh, program or something. Let's see if there's anything else here that might be useful. Kronos, I don't think, does what we want. Uh, convert between vi various time systems. CK brief might actually be useful. Um, oh, this only works for CK files, not SPK files. Uh, I don't know what th those are clock files, actually. Comment, convert, C spice, daft, description. Oh, never mind. That's not a user guide. UG stands for user guide, and that's what we're looking at. REQ stands for required reading, and I think description is just a meta file that tells us about um, all of these, uh, tells us what's in this directory. Let's see what inspect does with a... With a funny spelling there. Uh, 
Uh, nope, E S Q kernel. Yeah, I get the feeling we're we're probably in bad shape. Um, so now let's let's do something else here. Um, now we probably chose a really bad example here. So let's try a uh, brief uh, for one of the Saturn uh, kernels that I think 425 did it have what we needed. Um, I guess I'll do T for tabular format. Okay, this is actually good. We, this is what we would want. But let's, there's one of them that shouldn't have it. 393? Nope, that's good too. Um, 428. Yeah. So 428, let's make some notes here. So we don't forget stuff. So that 428 does not have names per brief. The brief command doesn't show us any names. But, just to make our lives difficult, I'll bet you anything, comment minus R does have names. Um, yeah. Comment minus R does have the names of these. Um, <sighs> so I'm pretty sure that this just means that, uh, I mean, comments can be anything. They could put anything they wanted in here, and they decided at the last minute to add the names, even though the names aren't officially inside the, uh, officially inside the, uh, inside the, inside the, the BSP file itself, is what I'm thinking. Um, okay. Yeah. So, not great. Okay. Why am I reading this multiple times? Um, okay, that's kind of strange. Okay, but now, now we're going to do something that isn't going to help us at all, but it's going to waste some time. So, you're welcome. We're going to convert, let, but we can look at the binary file, by the way, it's not, you know, it's ugly, but we can look at it. Um, so there's a list of the bodies, whoa. This is probably the guy who created it, or whatever, but none of these seem to have the... I mean, they're not really names, but I mean, they're they're designators, I guess. Oh, hang on. Oh, this is part of the comment file. Okay. Uh, but inside the file, um, sorry, we can't read it because it's binary. There is a way to do this. We can con uh, we can convert this to um, to what's known as a transfer format, which is a very easy to read text format. Uh, I shouldn't say very easy to read. It's possible to read. And let's see what this says. Okay, so here we are. Um, and what I'm seeing here, the, the, the important thing here, by the way, is like what says begin array spike. All of this stuff here is the, the sort of important part. Um, so let's just go ahead and make a note that says sat428.xsp does not have um, names either. But this, of course, brings up the question, do the other ones that have names in brief also have names when you convert them to XSP? Uh, I don't know the answer to that, but let's... Take a look at Jupiter 310, for example. Um, wait. In tabular format, please. Okay. So now if we convert this to transfer form, the question is, will we get, uh, will we see the names in there, or are the names somewhere, hiding somewhere else? And we'll wait for that to happen. After this, we're going to check the PCK file, which has a bunch of other stuff in it, but I don't know if it has, um necessarily has the names of the objects in there, and it probably doesn't. It probably just has the the NAFE IDs and stuff in there. So this is taking longer than I expected, but we can start looking at it already, I think. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. So this does not also appear to have... Well, let's just do this. Let's do a F grep minus I Ganymede in here. That's one of the moons of Jupiter. And interesting. Um, kind of wish I'd chosen a smaller file here, but it does look like Ganymede. I can do IO, but IO might show up as part of something el entirely different. Yeah, like NIO to SPK, which has nothing to do with the moon IO. Okay, so it doesn't appear that the names appear here either. Um, so the sort of the question is, how does Brief get a hold of these names? Um, so, let's, are, this, are we still doing that? We are still doing that. Um, let's take a look at the binary file again. 
Yeah. So that's the log file. That's the thing I don't think that brief reads. This is just the comments. Um, um, there's a bunch of blank space. Okay. Uh, so I guess I don't know what part of the file brief is reading to get this information. Um, Come on. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Let's take a quick look to see how big these files are. Yeah, the XSP file is always bigger because it's not binary, is sort of inherently compressed. Um, but I get the feeling this is. Um, really? There we go. So it might be all this crap is at the end. Um, but I still think there, there are issues here. Okay. Comments. Oh, commands. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So the CMT file, that might be worth looking at. I think that's just the comment, though. Um... Bodies on the file. And I honestly can't tell if this is part of the comments or if this is part of the uh, data that's used by brief or if those are actually the same thing. Um, so let's take a quick look, I guess, but we are we are disheartened now. Okay. So that certainly looks like the part that from log file to... So that actually looks like it's very similar to what we just saw. Yeah. So it might be that it actually uses the comments somehow uh, to, grab the, uh, to grab the names. That doesn't really make sense though because otherwise it should also work for the other file, which was Saturn, what it's at 428, and it definitely doesn't work for there. Um, I guess let me do that for Sat for again, even though I deleted it earlier. Um, we'll look at the very last bit of it to see if it's um, that should be fine. Okay. Okay, interesting. Um, that does look like it might be from um, the comments. Uh, as opposed to from somewhere in the actual file itself. Okay. And so, so when we do... So when we do comment minus r, it's fine because we see all of the um, names. But if we do brief minus t, yeah, we don't see the names. Uh, fairly disappointing. Uh, I guess. Um, see, and the weird thing here is uh, it's Pomodoro time, but it's the first one, so I'm going to skip it. The weird thing here is two, three, ten. These things do show up. And I don't really get why. I mean, why, why does it look different? Um, why is in one case this showing up, and in the other case it's not showing up? Is it somewhere inside the, the file? Except at the very end, where of course it'll be. Uh, but aside from that, I don't know. Now, the NAFE IDs file uh, is of some help here, but I don't think it even has the the codes for... Yep, and that's the one we already kind of knew about. That's interesting, though, that it's... Um, that's interesting. That it's in lowercase here and has more information, and yet 
What is the brief command? I'm kind of tempted to look at the binary of the brief command now. Um, and something tells me it's going to be a, it's going to be a, a compiled binary. So it's not going to give me a huge amount of information. I could try to decompile it or look for brief C. Um, but I'm, I get the feeling we're getting further and further away from where we, we need to be. Despite that, I'm going to look very briefly for brief C. Oh, wow. Um, okay. There does not appear to be an uncompiled version of brief. Um, I could try to decompile this, but I think we're getting further away from our goal uh, to find all the NAFE IDs. So we have some of the NAFE IDs here. Um, I guess one thing we could do is um, this definitely gives us all the NAFE objects. Um, doing you know, this sort of thing here definitely gives us all the NAFE uh, objects um, as on the left hand. Although some of them have stars next to them, which is weird. So it's NAFE ID space, and I think these are separated by tabs maybe? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Because um, do any some of these have two word names, right? Mm, yeah, well, only the Barry Center ones. Um, so this gives us a list of all of the things that um, all the things that exist, regardless of name. But then the question is, where are we going to pick up these names? Um, and let me use one of uh, one of uh, Jupiter's moons as a uh, as a uh, as an example there we go so like moon 555 which is also by the way the code for uh, the phone information or it used to be at one point um, uh, in BSP files via via brief now but via this it does have a name not a great name mind you but it does have a name uh, let me see if I can find one like Irene where the name is kind of more solid than what I just said uh, Irene it's moon 557 Uh, let's see if it has a name via, does by a comment. Irene. Nope. Uh. Okay. So, in theory, that means if we were to type it into, um, use a program and try to use Irene, it would fail because it has no way of knowing that Irene is tied to NAFE ID 557. However, we will look in another place now. Um, I wonder how old my copy of NAFE IDs is. Oh, it's pretty old, actually. Um, I was looking at a newer version of this. That might solve all my problems. I mean, uh, NAFE integer ID codes. That should be more than enough to find it. Here we go. Oh, this is the April 4th, 2017 version. Okay. Um, see, it still doesn't really seem to include I read. It doesn't include I read. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then see if it's the same as what I already have. I mean, it won't be, but let's see how close it is. Oh, I said a diff, didn't I? Um, these are very, very... I wonder if I can do diff minus uh, ignore all white space. Now, there's still a little bit more to it than that. I did, let's make sure the minus B is ignore all white space. No. 
Ignore change. So it's some diff, diff minus little b. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I guess this version is technically newer, but well, okay. These are oh, okay, okay, okay. Psyche. So it does have a couple more. So let's go ahead and replace uh, the current version with the version we just got. And then we could say, is Irene in the newer version? It is not. Is 557 in the newer version? No, it is not because it doesn't have an ID. Okay, so the next place to look for it would be in the PCK file. And let me uh, quickly see what that is. It's this one. And I, yeah, it's the only PCK file we're actually including. Uh, let's see if Irene is in here. No. 557? No, not really. Okay. Not great. Um, okay, so how can we do this? Um, well, obviously we have to get it from the CMLT files. Um, and let's see. Again, I'm trying to be a little bit clever here. And I guess we could glue all the comments files together into one big comment file. And uh, I could just sort of manually pick out everything uh, between the lists. Yuck. Um, okay, hang on. I wonder what that model, this could be interesting. What's the model name going to be on all of these things? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I can't do that with all, can't do comments on all of them. Um, unlike with brief, I can't get. So the question is, is the model on all of these, Jesus Christ. Okay, so this is, these are mass parameters. These are, there's a lot of shit in here. I wonder if I can limit comments to just showing me what's in the damn things. So I'm just wondering if all of these are going to be sat orb int. Um, if that's the model name, we can use that as a sort of our, our cut to get all the names of stuff, but it might not be. All right, so let's see what comment can do other than annoy us. Um, extract, read, delete. What does extract do? Oh, 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 to extract comments from a binary kernel. Um, oh, I guess then that lets you create a separate comment file if you really wanted to. And now we can look to see if we have a, uh, I don't think we have any comment files here. Um, actually, we do, apparently. Um, I think it's just that one. Um, okay. So, brilliant plan here has gone somewhat bad. And the brilliant plan here was uh, to try to get a list of all the uh, names from um, the brief files. But apparently we need to use the comment files as well. So, kind of a bummer. And it doesn't appear that we can limit the comment files uh, to just show us names and IDs. We have to sort of get the whole kit and caboodle. All right, well, let's see what we can do with this. Okay. Comment, okay, so ls tilde spice kernels star.bsp xr is minus one, comment minus r less. Um, I'm 
trying to see how easy or difficult it'll be to extract names from this. And um, bodies on the file, so that might be the thing to look for. Yeah, this is not going to look really great, but okay. So we'll call this all comments dot text. Make a backup of it. Okay, and then we will load it up and I guess manually edit it. So we really have sort of come full circle here. Bodies on the file. Um, so according to this, the first 3,843 lines are not, um, they're not gonna give us body names. Jesus Christ. Ephemeris. Yeah, you know what? It might actually be easier. That was probably a dumb mistake. So we will remove. Let's just do them one at a time. Um, okay, so hide to Perl minus NLE. Print comment minus R, the file name. And then the file name dot cmt um actually it's going to be that um that was not too hard now that wasn't too hard so now we just need to emax these one at a time which would probably be a lot easier um I mean, it probably won't be a lot easier, but, you know. Da, 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 da. Okay. Now, can I do... Oh, yeah. Um, I'm not going to do this here. I'm going to bring up another Emacs because I want to be able to do, uh, sort of uh, go through the files one at a time and then kill them when we're done. So, let's do this. We do have, not only do we have backups, but we copied these so they're safe copies in Spice Kernels. Okay. Bodies on file. Okay. This is not fun at all. Uh, kind of sucks. Um. Well, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and skip this one for now, but it looks like there's no bodies on this one at all. Um, okay, so this is, this is kind of what I was hoping for. And then, oh, this is crap. This probably isn't any faster, but it's going to feel faster. Um... So we get this, and then that's it. I'll leave the word, I won't leave the word system in there. Okay. Um, I guess we're just have to live with this one not having anything in it. There's just, there's just nothing here. Uh, this one not have any bodies either. Uh, it does not appear to have any bodies. Um, I guess I don't really need to do anything with this. Um, this also doesn't have, appear to have any bodies on the file. Um, there we go. And Saturn we already know about. Okay. Okay, so they're pointing out there's there are uh, duplicates, which is fine. Okay. Okay. Crap! Another one that doesn't have bodies listed. 
processing Daphne's code name. Uh, whatever the hell this is, it does not appear to have. It has some strange things in it, but it does not have the standard bodies on file. Okay. I guess I'm inconsistent about whether I want to leave Saturn in there, but I think I'm okay with this. Um, and okay, so that's those are those. Um, I guess this has either nothing in it or already deleted it. Uh, bodies on anywhere. Literally one body on this file. But hey, we take what we can get. Okay. And then going down here. We have and I'll be inconsistent, but that doesn't really matter. Um okay, so we have this bodies on the file. And I'm pretty sure this is actually Agamemnon. Well, actually I could be wrong. But I don't think it's Agageo. I think that's a mistake. Uh, these guys and then from here, don't need that. Uh, bodies on the file. Yeah, these are all of Pluto's moons, except Pluto's not allowed to have moons because it's technically not a planet anymore. But, whatever. Bodies on the f Yeah! Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, Neptune 090. Bodies on, yeah, you betcha. We got some bodies there. Killer bods. Okay. Bodies on, yeah. More bodies on this file. Now, the fact this is just Nepton, again, makes me a little bit suspicious that these were not necessarily prepared with the greatest of uh, care and. Uh, Okay, so this is information about the um, the Earth as an ellipsoid, which is really complicated, I think. I don't really know what this means, though, so. We'll just ignore it. Oh, these are actually, these might be actually be um, station names or something. But they are not, um, they don't have NAFE IDs, so. I guess they do have NAFE IDs. Um, or they have NDOSL, but doesn't really matter. Because we don't care. Bodies on the file, yeah! Uh, the moons of Mars. And there's not that many of them. Well, there's two of them. That's exactly as many as it needs. Get rid of this. that. Get rid of that. Okay. And these should be the main moons of, yep. So I've probably done way too much work again because most of these occur in multiple locations, but hey. Okay, it is Pomodoro time. I'll be back in two and two.
and we are almost back. And we are still almost back. And we're back. Okay. This also does not appear to have bodies on this file. And this also appears to be just stations and therefore no bodies here. I think this is true of this too. Bodies, nope. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't have bodies on the file either. I'm guessing this one won't, yep. These all actually appear to be, we might have to go past all, okay. Oh, we don't have that many left. Um, okay. Nothing here. Uh, this one actually does have bodies on the... Oh, this doesn't have it the standard way, but... I think these are going to be okay the way they are. Um, they do doesn't have the bodies in standard format, but we probably have them from many other locations. So we're okay with this one. Bodies on no, okay. More of the same. This is an older this is an older ephemeris, so um this literally has nothing on the file. Oh no, it does, but again it doesn't list the names. Okay. Don't need that. Uh, this doesn't help either. Um Bodies. Oh, this is actually another older. The four three series is actually all all the planets. Um, okay, this one might actually have something. No. Uh, no. Apparently, it does not have the names. It just has. Uh, that's right. This has a bunch of crap in it, but not the names. Okay. Let's see if this has anything interesting in it. Uh, does not. No, also does not have anything interesting on it. Not cool. Um, okay, well. This also doesn't have any bodies on it. Yeah, this might... I think we're coming close to the end, though, fortunately. Bodies. I think these are actually the uh, the Lagrange points of Earth. Uh, yeah. So these these aren't actually bodies. These are... These are theoretical points. Um, and this is also a Lagrange point. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm afraid I'm having uh, some issues, not with this, but with something else. Uh, unfortunately, even though the stream is only um, 38 minutes long so far, I am going to have to pause, essentially stop the stream, and come back later. Sorry about that. Stopping the stream for now. We'll be back later. <laughs>